Hey guys, jumping right in. I'm going to be using the Coconut Balm.com from Glossier and applying this all over just to moisturize my lips because you need moisture all over the face. And then I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. I've mentioned this so many times to you guys. You guys know how much I adore this product. But I love this one specifically if you have really dry skin because I just love oils. I find them so much more moisturizing and hydrating than lotions and moisturizers like that. And then I'm using this Marc Jacobs Do You Do Highlighter and I'm just going to be applying that all over my face. Now this might seem weird to apply a highlighter all over your face, but it just makes you look so glowy and dewy. And also it's just a really hydrating product as well. So like I said, we can use all the hydration we can get, even though we look a little crazy. So now I'm using this A to Z cream from Philosophy. It's basically like a BB cream or a CC cream. I can't remember, but either way, it is so nice. It applies a thin layer, but it still evens out your skin tone, adds a nice little tint of color, but it's so moisturizing. Then I'm using this concealer from Glossier. Oh my gosh, I love this one for like no makeup days or when I'm doing like dewy looks like this because it's so creamy and I like to blend it in with my finger because I find that it really warms up the product and makes it blend in seamlessly. And then I just use the beauty blender to use the concealer on spot areas like where I have acne or redness or things like that. Then I'm using this Peach Perfect powder from Too Faced. I don't know what it is about the formula in this powder, but something about it just makes you smooth and flawless looking, but not fake, not too airbrushed, if you know what I mean. And it's still, you still look dewy, even though you're kind of mattifying your skin. It's not like the Laura Mercier translucent, for example. And then I'm using this Hoola bronzer. It's a contour stick from Benefit Cosmetics. And I just love this for days where my skin needs all the moisturization it can get because it's a cream-based contour and I really, really enjoy it. It blends out seamlessly, adds a nice little bit of color, especially when you're not looking for such a sharp contour. It kind of just blends seamlessly into the skin. It almost looks like it's not there, but it is. And I like to use this brush to apply it because I find that it just blends it so well, so effortlessly. And then I'm using this cushion blush from Lancome. Oh my gosh, I love this blush. I forgot about these products for a while and then I reached into my makeup drawers and found this and I remembered how much I really love this product. It just adds such a nice flush of color but it looks like my cheeks were rosy to begin with. It looks so natural. For eyes, I'm gonna be using two ColourPop shadows. So this is like a deep bronzy one. I'll have all the shade names listed in the description box, but I'm just using my finger to apply it to the crease area. And since it's a cream product, it really doesn't matter that you're using your fingers. It's not too messy. The great thing about cream products is you can just blend them right out. So I'm just using that to add a little bit of color and dimension to my eyes, but nothing crazy. And then I'm taking this gold one with almost like green undertones it's really really pretty and I'm just applying that all over the lid I think using your fingers with ColourPop shadows specifically is such a good little trick to do because it just applies them with such pigment and I find that there's way less fallout with your finger as compared to using a brush with these shadows so it's perfect And then to really amplify this gold, I'm going to be using this jelly eyeshadow. It is the weirdest thing. It's from Butter London. I discovered it a while ago and I am so in love with it. It is such a unique product. So it feels almost cooling when you apply it to your skin. But look at how pigmented and shiny it is. It's just so, so pretty. And it's so easy to work with and blend, but you do have to work quickly because it does dry. And some people might not like it about this, but I actually like the way it dries because it almost looks cracked, kind of like gold flakes or something. I don't know. I think it's really unique and almost editorial looking. 
And then I'm going back into that bronzy deep shade from ColourPop again, and I'm just going to be lining the lower lash line with it just a little bit, nothing crazy. You can hardly see that it's there, but it just adds a little bit just to help kind of open my eyes up just a little because I do have smaller eyes, or at least I think I do. So I like to just make them look a little bit bigger than they are. And then the same with this lash curler from Lancome. I'm just curling my lashes. And then for mascara, I recently found my love again for the Colossal Big Shot from Maybelline. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I won't say that it lengthens them crazily. It's not like super intense as far as lengthening goes, but it is such a great mascara if you're looking for something to volumize and thicken your lashes and just make it look really, really full because that's something I struggle with is the look of full lashes. So I love this mascara for that reason. Then I'm using these Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops and I'm just going to use a beauty blender to apply that to the high points of my cheek to give me a nice healthy glow. Now this is another reason that I love creamy highlighters or liquid highlighters is because one, they're hydrating to your skin but also they just blend so well. However, I didn't like that purpley pinky shade with the gold eyes. So I'm dipping into this powder highlighter just to make it more golden to match the eyes. I just did not like the, the pink tones. Wasn't into it. And then for lips, I'm using Blondie from Bite Beauty. I, you guys know how much I love this. I've talked about it so many times. It's just a tried and true. Normally I would apply like a lip liner like MAC oak or something underneath but for this purpose I don't need to because we already have the Glossier lip balm on and then I'm going in with this I Love Sada E and ColourPop collaboration it is Atole it is a glossy lip gloss oh my gosh it's so beautiful it has like pink undertones with gold reflex it's so so pretty and I have just been obsessed with that combination and then I'm just setting everything with the Morphe spray so that I used more for setting the makeup and then for just some extra hydration and freshness, I applied the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, a tried and true. And that completes the look. I hope you guys found this helpful for all you dry skin people out there. Trust me, I know what it's like. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.